last December, I did the Advent of Code um, event that happens each year. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, every every day in the month of December, a new programming challenge is released. And so it's just a short story problem that they give you. Uh, they give you some some input data and you got to figure out what the answer is. Typically, they start out quite easy and then they get really hard towards the end of the month. I never make it to the end of the month usually, but it's still a fun thing to do. Uh, this year, I decided to do something a little bit different. So in addition to you know doing it in a typical programming language, I decided to see how far I could get by just putting the input file into Vim and then using the features of Vim to um, figure out what the answer is in like a systematic way. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so this is the day one problem. It's called calorie counting. I'm not going to read it all because it's kind of long, but this is what the input data looks like. Each chunk of numbers here represents like an elf that's carrying that amount of calories. And so what they want you to do is figure out how many total calories, or find the elf that's carrying the most calories, and then figure out what that number is. What is the sum? Basically, we got to find the, the largest sum of these chunks. And so the answer is, uh, I've already done this, of course, so that's the answer, spoiler alert. But uh, let's plug this input file into Vim and start working through this to try and come up with this answer. If you use Vim, you've probably heard about registers. Um, it's one of the main parts of Vim. Um, you can look at the help docs. There's all sorts of different kinds of registers. Um, you can think of a register as a kind of like a clipboard or a scratch pad. The one you're probably the most familiar with is this unnamed register. If you yank and paste text, by default, that's where the, the text is going. It's getting put into the unnamed register. Uh, and so there's there's all sorts of different registers, like, and you can look at the, the documentation for each of these. The one we're going to be interested in for our case of performing some math is number seven here, the expression register. And so a quick demo of how it works is like, uh, say I'm in insert mode, um, I can press control R followed by an equal sign uh, that gives me a little prompt down at the bottom. And then I can just type in like 10 uh, plus, sorry, where's the plus, plus 10. And it spits out a 20. Expression register is going to be the main tool that we're going to use to do math. And so another problem we have is like, okay, well, I can type in I can see that if I go into insert mode and type in the numbers, um, I can do math like that. But what about when the number is just sitting here like this? Uh, well, one one way could, we could do it is like, um, like say I just had one chunk that I had to do, and that was it. I would probably you know highlight this, press capital J to join onto one line, highlight it again, do something like this where I'm substituting a space for a plus sign and make that global for the whole line. So now I've got a series of numbers with plus signs. Um, what you can do is I could see dollar sign to clear everything on that line. And remember that went into the unnamed register by default. And now I'm in insert mode. I can press uh, control R followed by equal sign. I can press control R again followed by a double quote because that's the name of the unnamed register so that's where all that all that stuff i yanked is sitting and then you can see down below i've got all that sitting right there and i can hit enter there's the sum okay so this is the strategy i want to use across the entire file and so rather than manually um, visually selecting you know a block of numbers here and doing that you know every single throughout this entire 2009 file uh, we need a way to do that um, across the entire file kind of in one go. Uh, one way you can do that is using the global command. So that's colon G and then you give it something, give it a search pattern. So backslash D will match any, any number. And then the second part you can use, you can use like a, I think it's called a range. Uh, but basically if you do negative one J that's going to say for every match in this entire file, um, I want that joined with the, the previous line. And so if I hit enter, um, you can see, let me turn the highlighting off, that combined this entire entire file. So now I no longer have those line breaks, those empty lines, uh, but that doesn't really matter. So now we're sitting here where every chunk is now just on, on one line and they have spaces between them. 
uh, like before I did to, to replace the spaces with addition signs with plus signs, um, I just visually selected it, hit colon, did a substitute like this, but that's not going to work for the whole file. So that's not a big deal. We can use the global. Um, if you do a percent sign, it'll apply it to the whole file instead of just one line. You don't have to visually select anything. So percent s, and then I can say I want to find any spaces. I want to replace those with plus signs and apply that. Not just the first map. You see how this is matching without the global flag here. It'll only match the first instance on each line, but with global, it'll do every single instance that it can. So we'll run that. So now, uh, what are we sitting at? We're sitting at every line is set up for the expression register to be used, which is good. All right, the next step I want to do is sum up each of these lines. To do that, I can use a Vim macro. So macros are uh, pretty cool. You can you can start recording a macro by pressing Q and then another letter. So here I'm recording a macro that's getting saved into this Q variable. Um, and so any movements I press, any movements I make in here, or any um, commands I give it, those are going to be saved into the macro. And when I'm done, I can just hit Q again, and then I can replay it by um, pressing at Q, and it will replay the macro. Um, so um, we want to do that same expression register stuff like we learned about earlier inside of the macro that we do. So let's let's see if we can get that working. So I'm going to come to the front of the line here. I'm going to start recording. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do uh, C dollar sign, and then I'm going to enter the expression register. It's getting covered up, but hopefully it's there <laughs> down at the bottom. And then control uh, double quote, and then that gets pasted in there. Then I can hit enter. I can hit escape. I can hit J, and I can hit zero to move to the front. And then I can stop recording um, my macro with Q. Getting the macros correct are kind of is sometimes kind of difficult because you got to think like a computer, like oh, where did I start? Where am I going to end up? Um, so that when we let's try to replay it. Um, if I press if I press the amp, the the at symbol, um, it looks like it's working. I'm not going to actually check those sums, but it seems like it's probably working as I hit this and go through the file. So if we wanted, we could just spam this, hold it down, go through the entire file, but that would take forever. There is a way to do it to like apply a macro to the entire file. Let me just undo all these changes here. Oh, too far. All right, so I think if we do um, colon percent norm and then at Q, and it went through and summed up every single one of those with the macro. And now we're sitting with uh, the each chunk's sum on every line. And if you remember from the problem statement, they wanted to know which elf had the most calories. And so really all Really what we could do now is just sort sort this list and look at the top one. Um, so to do that, we can do the percent sign and then a exclamation mark. I can cheat and do a, we'll cheat a little bit and do a, a bash command. So you can do bash commands with the, if you do this um, exclamation mark, and then the percent sign is gonna apply it to the to every line in the file. Uh, so we can sort. Um, NR for reverse, I think it's um, reverse order, and then these are numbers, so um, that's what the N is. So if we run that and go to the top, we see there's a 67027. So if I check, we can check the, the answer here. So, yep, 6727. So that's the correct answer. So just to sum up um, what we did one more time, um, I wrote up these steps here. You can pause the video if you want to read them. But uh, first, we uh, we did a global uh, search for any numbers, and we joined those lines together so that every chunk was on one single line. Then we did a global search and replace for with for spaces with plus signs, and then we recorded a macro, a macro that did the main part of this, which was entering the expression register, pasting in the contents of that one of, of the line it's on, 
hitting enter, summing that up. We applied the macro um, on every line in the file. And then finally, we just sorted the file and looked at the very top, top number for the answer. All right, so that's it for uh, this first problem. Thanks for watching. I'll probably upload uh, some more videos of other problems that I worked on. Hopefully you've learned something new about Vim. Um, I really enjoy using it. It's, it. it sort of gamifies text editing, which I think is really cool. But anyways, thanks for watching.